Hi, this is Sandra with Galford Brakes. We're in Barcelona, Spain, and today we're going to show you around Galford's facility. We're in the process of rotor manufacturing. Every rotor we make is laser cut. First thing that happens is a big sheet of stainless steel gets in here, and then it goes right into the laser cutter. As you can see, that's the laser cutter running, cutting stainless steel, making rotors. The rotor, before it's taken into the heat treatment process, it goes through a G-bearing process. So it cleans the surfaces and it makes sure that there's nothing that, through the laser cutting process, it had any cuts or anything like that. Once the rotor is uh, been finished on the G-bearing process, we send them out and have them coated. It's a uh, high temperature coating. But it's basically done so once the rotor is in use, everything will be properly finished without any issues with weathering on the rotor. Some rotors uh, need to have some other steps, such as like, we'll have to countersink or change the different diameters of the holes. One of the last steps of making a brake rotor is double disc grinding. Some companies do some type of grinding. We do double disc grinding, so at this point, the rotor is being grounded in two different surfaces at the same time. So the end result is that you have a very well parallel ground rotor. This is the final step for engraving all the rotors. So what we do is we put the rotor here and just gets engraved. Throughout the whole process, every one of the stations here at Galfer has what it's called a uh, self-control on uh, quality control. So they all have some parameters that they need to follow. This one here is the last one. So you'll see that they're constantly checking the rotors over there. But this is it. When it gets to here, you mark the name, car number, and out it goes. This is how we used to test brake systems in the early 70s. That's uh, 70s technology. It's a great system. It had three different parameters you could use. Um, temperature, speed, and uh, brake torque. That was basically what would give us a friction rating. Uh, this was great back in the day. This one is the Mac Daddy. This is uh, 2015, 2016. This machine allows us to have so many different parameters that only an engineer would really be able to explain this well, but it's got temperature speed, variable speed. It allows us also to simulate racing. So a race team will give us their data and we'll be able to put that on the system and this rotor itself, without having to be at a racetrack, can do the exact same laps, speed and heat that a race bike would have. 